Have we entered buyer's market territory in Milton? If you're curious what's been happening in the Milton real estate market, in this video, we're gonna give you an update. And we're gonna talk about whether or not we're in a buyer's market. Tell us in the comments below if you think Milton is in a buyer's market. We'd love to hear your thoughts. One of the indicators we look to to see the liquidity of the market and determine if we are in a balanced market, a seller's market, or a buyer's market is a statistic called the absorption rate. Essentially, this data indicates that if no other homes were to enter the market, how many months would it take for the market to absorb or sell the current supply? A buyer's market would show the absorption rate with six months or more of supply, whereas a balanced market would be between four and six, and a seller's market is under four months. If you flash back to February 2022, we were in a white hot seller's market. Homes were sold right away and we were sitting at half a month, just two weeks of inventory. It was a frenzied market. Well, where are we today in Milton? With all the sensationalized news media, you would think our Milton market was in apocalyptic territory, when in reality, the data shows that we are still technically in a seller's market with overall months of inventory at 1.7 months. We are still well under the six months of inventory that would be needed to enter into buyer's market territory. So for all you bearish folks on home sales, it's not your time. Here's a look at the latest months of inventory by home category. What does all this mean to the homeowner in Milton? Well, if you own a townhome or a condo and wanna get into a detached home to take advantage of more space for a growing family, then it could be a good time for you. Townhomes are sitting at 0.8 months of inventory and selling quite well if priced appropriately and staged beautifully. So with not as much inventory available in the townhome market, this could be an opportunity to move up into that detached home you've been dreaming of. Since the peak of the market in February, Detached homes in Milton have seen an average price drop by about 19%. With more inventory in the detached home segment and a slower selling period, it could be a good opportunity to make a move up. There's less competition, sometimes room to negotiate on homes, and you can often include inspections, finance, and even home sale conditions. If you're wondering if moving up could be right for you, then book a meeting with us in the Calendly link below. Another headline we see a lot in the news is inventory is down. And while the GTA market overall has recorded the lowest number of new listings reported for the month of September since 2002, our micro market here in Milton is only down about 4% year to date compared to 2021. And it's important to remember that 2021 was a record breaking year in both terms of price and number of homes sold. What is notable and in line with the GTA market overall is the decrease in the number of sales. There were 122 home sales in September 2002, a 20% decrease from last month and a 29% decrease from the 174 home sales in September 2021. As the market continues to adjust to higher borrowing costs, we will see some people priced out of the market, even with the decrease in home prices. The higher borrowing costs or even qualifying to make a home purchase make it more challenging for some potential buyers, especially first time home buyers with less than 20% down. For those buyers, we say have patience. While home prices are flat now in Milton, with further interest rate increases that we believe are forthcoming, we may see prices dip lower still, making those entry-level purchases more available to you. Lower prices mean lower down payments and land transfer costs overall. We have a fantastic mortgage calculator on our website that you can use to see everything from closing costs to payment estimates. So if you're curious to know, head over to sbrec.ca. Slower sales and longer days on market compared to what we saw earlier this year may feel scary if you're a homeowner and thinking of selling your home. You may be wondering, will my home sell? How long will it take? Will I get a good price? These are all great questions and not ones that we can generalize on a video, but ones that we would be happy to discuss with you on a one-to-one -one basis. 122 people successfully sold their home last month. So there is still a very healthy market to both buy and sell today in Milton. We've helped hundreds of people just like you move from one place to the next. And we have the systems and real life market experience to ensure you feel comfortable and confident in your real estate decisions. Get in touch with us at the Calendly link below or email hello at sbrec.ca with all of your questions. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing.